Hi everyone, this is Downloads from the Divine and I'm here to do the Twin Flame Daily Reading. This is for today, for Monday, December 3rd of 2018. Uh, yes, we're in December. Um, and um, I am always sending y'all lots of love and light and happy Monday. This is another start of the week. Um, I hope your Monday has been going well. Um, if you're well into your Monday and if you're just starting off your Monday, I hope it, it goes well and the week goes well for you. A huge thank you to everyone. I always say it. Um, I can't say it enough, but I do appreciate um, your support of the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes, your shares. Um, thank you for the beautiful messages that you sent to me. I am so appreciative. I'm always appreciative of the support. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a twin flame focused channel and these readings are for the energies of both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And I always say this in every reading, but it is impossible for these readings to resonate with everyone. I'm always praying um, that uh, the messages can resonate with as many folks as possible. I am on Instagram. I do spreads over there. There may be some messages over there that um, do resonate. And then I do also offer personal services such as personal readings. And I'm on Instant Go. And all that information is in the description box below. Okay. All right, so I am using today, I'm using the Gilded uh, Tarot deck by Chiro Marchetti, and then I'll be clarifying with the Gilded um, Reverie Lenormand deck that's also by Chiro Marchetti, and then I'll be pulling a Romance Angel Oracle card at the end, okay? So I'll shuffle, um, I'll pull one card, I'll, if more than one card comes out, I'll take it as long as it's not the entire deck. I always pull the card also from the um, bottom and top of the deck as part of that overall energy. And then I'll look again at the bottom and the top of the deck. Okay. All right. Let's get it going. Let's just hop right into it. And please excuse my sniffles. Please excuse them. It's early in the morning. Okay. Okay. table that feels good all right angels and spirit what messages do you have for the twin flame collective this is for today for december 3rd of 2018 thank you for all your guidance and your clarity got a queen of cups here okay top of the deck the world and the bottom of the deck the ace of pentacles wow This is absolutely beautiful here. This is a, a nice way to start off the week. Um, a beautiful message here for divine feminine. Okay. Divine feminine energy here. Got the queen of cups. Um, so we've got divine feminine in a place. And this is energy. I'll talk more about this queen. But in a place of being just more in tune with your emotions. Um also, uh, we'll talk, I'll talk more about your intuition, psychic awareness, um, but just be even just really in tune with your emotions, um, with that queen. Um, but we got divine feminine in that energy and it's really beautiful because you can see the divine, you can see this queen is, uh, this queen is already, we got the only major kind of that's here on the table is the world. So that's been a complete wrap up of a cycle. Okay, so it's like this queen has shifted from having that complete wrap up of the cycle right here um, and having um, and I'll talk more about the world and what all of that is. But 
having that complete wrap up of a cycle and then being able to travel and move into this beautiful new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles right here. Okay. And, and this queen is actually headed towards, you can see that she's even uh, moving towards this Ace of Pentacles. That's a brand new, um, stable, grounded new beginning. Okay. Um, and that's beautiful here. Wow. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got, we've got an emperor. Okay. So we've got some divine, this is divine masculine energy here, this emperor energy. Okay. Um, emperor, when the emperor comes out or the empress and, 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 um, when I'm doing the twin flame general readings, uh, when this, in, when this energy comes out, this is indicative of the divine masculine, um, energy. Um, it's the same with uh, the, the empress. So the empress is indicative of the divine feminine energy, even though, and male or female, you can embody each of the divine masculine or the divine feminine energies. But the emperor is the embodiment of all the energies of all the kings. Okay. And um, the emperor is in the high vibration of the emperor. The emperor is able to take leadership, is able to have that confidence and take leadership, use all the different energies of all of those different kings and be able to move forward. Okay. Um, take control and um, fair control, fair leadership and control and be able to move forward. So I do feel like we've got some divine masculine energy getting into this. That's in this emperor energy right here. Um, seeing this divine feminine um, that has wrapped up, um, that there has been this cycle wrap up. And this divine feminine is moving forward and moving forward into this beautiful, um, this uh, beautiful ace of pentacles. But there's a feeling here with this divine masculine here is, is like this divine masculine is also is wanting, is wanting to like join this divine feminine and be able to move into that new beginning with this divine feminine energy. Okay. Okay. And an emperor is also up to number four. Um, and four is all about that foundation and stability and the foundation is where it's, it's the emperor's the number four in the major arcana. Okay. On other side of the deck, we got, wow. Okay, we got the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, we've got Divine Masculine Energy. We actually, in this reading, have both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energy represented here on the table. So, you've got Divine Masculine Energy that's getting into this Emperor Energy um, to be able to do this, to be able to come into union with the divine feminine, have this, this is the two of cups. This is coming into union partnership. Okay. So like I said, this divine feminine, I feel, um, uh, because, uh, the divine feminine, this, this queen even looks like she's like this figure that's here in this world and she just shifted and now she's moving forward. She's moving forward into this, um, this ace of pentacles. So it's like this divine feminine energy is moving forward. And it's like this divine, fem this divine masculine energy here and this emperor energy is wanting to join her and to be able to come and to have this also have this, have this new beginning here with the ace of pentacles, that grounded, stable, committed new beginning, but then also being able to come into partnership here with the two of cups. Okay. Wow. Okay. And I just saw the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So that's indicative that, um, and I'll just go ahead and show y'all the Empress here. Okay. This Emperor is seeing this divine feminine as is in the Emperor energy, but it sees this, this divine feminine. She's the queen of cups He or She's the queen of cups, but, um, is also the Empress, their counterpart. Okay. But let me talk about the energies. Let me start off by talking about the world here. 
So the world is the, um, it's like the complete wrap up of a cycle. And I talk about the cycles before and how they're represented by the major arcana, but you have the fool where you take that leap of faith. That's the very beginning of a cycle. Then you have the very end of a cycle. And this is the very end of a cycle with the world. And it's being able to completely wrap up a cycle. It's also, it's also indicative of travel and like moving and travel and, um, and actually moving into like those new beginnings. But um, uh, I feel this, this is what this divine feminine energy has done, okay? Um, this divine feminine energy has wrapped up, completely wrapped up a cycle and is moving into this new beginning here, okay? I feel like this divine masculine energy here that's in this emperor energy is seeing that, is seeing that this divine feminine energy is moving forward. But um, what's beautiful with this is, is that... Um, you could just even see just the power and the strength of that figure right there, being able to stand proud and do that, okay? Because it takes a lot to get to this point um, because we often, and I talk about with cycles that will get stuck in like that karmic part of a cycle with the wheel of fortune and the wheel can't look, turn forward and we'll get stuck there. So to be able to overcome that, to be able to get to this place of the world and be able to move forward into um, those new beginnings is beautiful. And I feel like this is, if you can even see what this queen here is like, she shifted. You can see the figure like she shifted into this queen energy and is moving forward, okay? Because right after the world is the um, fool, it's taking that leap of faith. And then after the fool is the magician and manifesting that new beginning. Okay. But we got the Queen of Cups here. Okay. And the Queen of Cups, she's very in tune. So um, there is a feeling here. Um, I'm even seeing. I'm even seeing some slightly kind of like stormy kind of clouds a little bit in the background. So there's, this is a, this is showing that there's some divine feminine energy that you are in this queen of cups type of energy. Um, I don't do signs, but this is how it resonates. If you know, if you are a water sign, um, but, um, I don't do signs for general readings. Um, but this is, this is, uh, this is showing that we've got divine feminine energy that, um, it, it's, you are really into, you you really into with the emotions. This queen doesn't shy away from her emotions. And some of y'all, um, there may have been, I'm seeing like a few, like kind of, kind of cloudy, um, some clouds back there, some kind of stormy clouds in the background might've had some, um, a, like some, a, a, like a tumultuous time with your emotions lately and that you've been really into them and feeling it and really into them. Um, and so this is indicative of divine feminine energy really into your emotions right now and in tune with that. And I mean, that's, that's good. It's being able to not shy away from that and to face your emotions and being able to, by doing that, you're able to, you know, purge and, and move forward also. Um, also, this is a very intuitive, um, intuitively attuned and psychically aware, uh, queen as well. Okay. Um, so this is also showing that, you know, your intuition and, you know, things that you've been feeling and all of that's, that's on point. Okay. As well. Okay. But you can see she's, you know, holding that, she's holding that cup and, um, it's not afraid to hold that cup and holds it, uh, very comfortably. Um, that's just showing just how in tune and comfortable she is with her emotions. But what's happening is, is that she shifted. She's this queen, um, this divine feminine energy here has ended, into the cycle. Okay. With this divine masculine energy here and it's shifting and moving forward into this, uh, uh, this ace of pill. It's like a feeling of like with or without. Um, I feel like this, that's what I feel. It's a feeling with this divine masculine that is that this divine masculine seeing this divine feminine moving forward. And it's like wanting to join this divine feminine energy. Like she's moving forward. She or he is moving forward into this, um, ace of pentacles, this, uh, this, um, and the Ace of Pentacles is the Pentacles of are of the material and the physical realm. And so it's having that very grounded, stable, committed new beginning, being able to start with this, this one pentacle and build it all the way up to the 10 of Pentacles. Okay. 
And I feel like I would, the feeling here is just like, it's like this divine masculine energy is watching this queen do this. And it's like wanting to join that queen. Okay. Um, wanting to join this divine feminine energy, this divine masculine energy. It's like watching her doing this, that she's doing this with the, without the divine masculine energy here. She is doing this and wanting to join. Okay. But having, like I talked about with this divine masculine energy, having to get into this, because this is a, this is, this emperor can overcome mental conflict, can overcome anxiety, can overcome, this is a confident energy as well, this emperor energy. So a divine masculine getting into this type of energy has the strength, the courage, the confidence to be able to move forward. Okay. And have this, and, and, and it's wanting this, it's wanting to come into union with the two of cups. Okay. We'll go ahead and clarify. start with the queen of cups we're going to start with the with the divine feminine divine masculine energies um angels of spirit can you please clarify the queen of cups the queen of cups look at that we got the compass so it, it's like i it's like i said um that this divine feminine energy is like has ended a cycle and is moving forward into this direction of um, this Ace of Pentacles, okay? And like I said, um, I, I feel like the Divine Masculine is watching this Divine Feminine doing that and is like wanting to join her or him, okay? The bottom deck, we've got the star, Okay. And that's beautiful because this is even with this divine feminine energy, having, um, go embodying this star energy, um, go, with this, with the star and the star is a major arcana as well, but the star is like, that is a healing energy. So getting into that healing energy is also a balancing, um, a balancing energy as well. And, um, also with divine intervention, but you can see, um, and that's a number 16 too. And one plus six is a seven, but we got the six in the heart as well. So they got the six of cups. So I'm so the download that I'm getting is, is that, you know, seeing this, this divine masculine is watching this divine feminine move in this direction and move and, and healing and moving forward. Um, and it's wanting to join, join this divine feminine energy. On the other side of the deck, we've got, look, we've got the park here. Okay. So got the park, um, and park is about like social, like public social, um, uh, download I'm getting is just that we've got some divine masculine energy that's seeing the divine feminine doing this. They might be seeing, uh, might be watching like social media and things like that. That's a download that I'm getting. And seeing the divine feminine that's moving forward and, and, and is moving forward with um, his or her life, okay? Um, but that's the download that I'm getting with the park here, okay? The other download that I'm getting is we've got divine masculine energy is that they're seeing the divine feminine energy as that star. And also, it's like, it's, this is also, I feel like, with the park here. Cause park is all about coming out like in public, social groups, public, but coming out in public, but also it's like with the 20 here, the two plus zero is a two. That's a decision point is also making a decision, uh, to, um, to, to, it's like this divine masculine energy, making the decision to tell the divine feminine energy that, okay. Um, how, um, what they're wanting with this divine feminine energy. Okay.
it's like heading um this divine feminine energy is heading in this direction you like I talked about but then also this divine masculine energy wanting to head in a new direction with this divine feminine energy angels and spirit can you please clarify the emperor So we got the mice here, okay? Um, I'm also seeing a number 23, so that's a five. So this this is this is some some conflict that this this uh, divine masculine is experiencing with the mice. I'm seeing the seven and the clubs as well, the seven of wands. Um, that's a feeling of like blocking. Um, I, this mice is about something that's bothering you. It's eating away. It's bothering you. Um, there is a feeling here with this divine masculine energy and this emperor energy that this is like, it's what this, everything that's been bothering, um, it's bothering this divine masculine energy to see this divine feminine energy, this divine feminine energy is moving forward, but it's this divine masculine energy wanting to come into union with this divine feminine energy. Um, and there's needing to be a new direction had with this divine feminine energy. And that is bothering, uh, this divine masculine energy here with the mice. The bottom of the deck, we've got the mask. So I'm I'm seeing that park again that we that I was talking about with the park and um and social public. Um I do feel like with this divine masculine he's been wearing a mask. Okay. Whatever mask has been worn to the public as well with the mask. Um, yeah, and that's, and this is, this is, this is, um, a realization that there's needing to be, there's needing to, there has to be a new direction had, and this divine feminine energy is moving forward. Okay. Um, that's the other thing that this divine masculine energy is like, uh, joining, joining him or her or catching up with, with, with him or her. Okay. On the other side of the deck, we got, yeah, got the ring here. What I'm getting here is, is that this is, I feel, what this divine masculine energy sees the divine feminine as this ring. The ring is indicative of like commitment, um, being able to have a higher level of commitment with the person. You can see there's the A in the clubs there. That's like the Ace of Wands, being able to have that. But it's like uh, what's bothering this divine masculine energy that's watching this divine feminine energy move forward. Is, is that they've worn a mask with this divine feminine energy. Even though I feel this divine feminine energy, especially in the Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups can see behind any mask, okay? So the divine feminine energy sees behind the mask um, that they've worn with them. Um, but it's, it's, it, this is what's bothering this divine masculine energy, is, is that they've worn a mask with the ring, with the with a person that they can have a higher level of commitment with, this divine feminine energy. Angels of Spirit, can you please clarify um, the Two of Cups? Two of Cups. This is about bridging, bridging the gap, bridging the divide. Okay. Three plus eight is 11, that balance. Um, I'm also thinking of like justice as well. But I feel with this bridge, you can see we got the two of cups here. Okay. It's being able to um, bridge the divide, whatever conflict, whatever that's happened in the past. Um, between this divine masculine, divine feminine energy. This is like an energy of like reconciliation, being able to bridge that, okay? Wanting to do that, it's bothering, like I said, it's bothering this divine masculine energy. But they're getting into an emperor energy, this divine masculine energy is. And see, but and seeing this divine feminine energy that's moving forward, okay? Uh, other than I'm getting with that compass, with that divine feminine energy, it's like knowing that it's time to move and move into this, move into a new direction in your life. Um, so divine feminine energy feeling that. 
But like I said, what's bothering this divine masculine energy is they put on this mask. Even though um, they may or may not know that this divine feminine energy sees behind that. But they've put on a mask with the divine feminine energy. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we've got the key. So, so it's a feeling that being able to have this union, this is key. This divine masculine is feeling that having this union is key. Being able to hope, hoping to be able to reconcile, have that reconciliation. But seeing that that's key, it's even key. I feel to this divine masculine, it's feeling like this is key to this divine masculine's life moving forward. Okay. But we got also the eight and the diamond. So that's that eight of pentacles energy. That's the energy of putting in the energy and effort to do that. That it's going to take energy and effort to do that. This divine masculine energy may already be doing that too, trying to do that um, in his or her life. Um, at the, on the other side of the deck, we've got the cross. So this is, we've got the mice here too, and now we've got the cross. This is about carrying that burden, okay? Also got the six in the clubs, wanting to have that victory. But this is a feeling of, of, of regret, Okay. Um, and really hoping this divine masculine energy is hoping to be able to reconcile and to be able to come into union with this divine feminine energy. Okay. Go ahead and we're going to clarify, uh, the world. Angels and spirit, please clarify the world. All right, world. Okay. The ring again. So I feel got the A in the clubs there, wanting that passionate new beginning. That's what this divine mask was wanting. There's been a complete wrap up of a cycle. Okay. And it's like, it's time. It's time to... Uh, it's time to like, you know, time to move forward. Seeing this divine feminine energy is moving forward with, 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 with her life or his life. Okay. But wanting that with the ring, that higher level of commitment. Okay. And a passionate new beginning with that. Seeing the bottom deck. Well, yeah, we've got time. The bottom of the deck. Okay. So I saw the number 37 I'm seeing, and that's a number 10. That's a very, that's a complete ending. And then, um, 10 is also, um, moving into that new beginning. One plus zero is a one being able to move into that new beginning. So it's like, it's time. It's like, it's, it's like this, it's, it's like it's time is overdue and this divine feminine energy is moving forward and it's time. Okay. It's time to, for this divine masculine energy to move forward, um, to this divine feminine energy. On the other side of the deck, yeah, taking that chance. That's time to do that. This is the chance here. Um, this is like, uh, it's like taking that leap of faith. And that's what comes right after the world is the fool is taking that leap of faith. Um, and that's what this is, is, this is, this is like here with the chance. Okay. Angels and Spirit, can you please clarify the Ace of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles. So it's having that, um, having that brand new, grounded, um, stable, committed new beginning. Um, I do feel like this is divine masculine energy, seeing a divine feminine energy as this, as this dog here. Um, and the dog is, is, um, in the Lenormand deck is, is indicative of the, of the energy of like being very loyal, faithful, uh, there, um, but very loyal and dependable and faithful. And, um, you also could see that there's the 10 in the heart. There is like that 10 of cups, that ultimate emotional fulfillment. Okay. This divine masculine energy is seeing this divine feminine energy moving forward into this. 
And it's like, it's like, it's, it's over time is overdue and it's moving forward towards this divine feminine energy to go ahead and join and to have coming to this union. Cause this Ace of Pentacles is also sitting, it's sitting right next to this two of cups and coming into that union and having that. Okay. So I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck, we've got the owls here. That's all about like wisdom. Okay. Wise choice, wise decision. Um, divine masculine seeing this divine feminine, feminine energy as that wise choice. Um, I'm also seeing the seven and the diamonds. That's that seven of pentacles. So it's also um, looking and seeing that this divine feminine energy, this here with the dog that did put a lot of investment in, um, cause that's the seven of pentacles is when you like put energy and time and investment into something and you're waiting on a return on that investment. So it's also a real, it's also, um, a realization acknowledgement that this divine feminine energy did do that with this divine masculine energy, um, and, um, was there and was loyal. And, um, also, like I said, with the owls, that, that wisdom, that wise choice. Okay. Even seeing the, seeing this divine feminine energy as that, as being very wise as well. On the other side of the deck, we've got again the cross. Okay. So there's regret here with this. Okay. Um, a burden as well, feeling burden, but wanting victory here with the six and the clubs, the six of wands. But there is some regret here. Um, having, feeling like carrying, having carried a burden. There's even um, a feeling here I'm picking up is that this divine masculine even seeing that the divine feminine did that with them, okay? Um, and carried a burden as well, okay? All right. But it's like, I feel it's like this divine masculine energy is like joining this divine feminine energy because I feel like this divine feminine energy is like moving forward. And it's like this divine masculine energy is like, Hey, can I join you? You know, that kind of, that's what I, that's what I feel like. Um, let me go ahead and pull a card. Angels and Spirit, what guys insight do you have for the Twin Flame Collective for today, December 3rd, 2018? Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay. So this divine masculine energy seeing that, seeing that this divine feminine energy does deserve love and they're lovable. But I also feel this divine feminine energy knows that. <laughs> she, she, he or she is moving forward and, and have, having wrapped up a cycle is moving forward into this new beginning. But I also feel also what's beautiful with this is, is that this divine masculine energy, being able to get into the high vibration of that emperor energy also knows that he or she deserve, deserves love as well. Okay. Got at the bottom of the deck, we've got heart to heart conversations. So honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Definitely here with this bridge here, being able to bridge that, that, that divide of uh, being able to have that reconciliation here. And this is clarifying this two of cups here coming into union. Okay. And on the other side of the deck, we've got new love. Okay. A new person has stirred romantic feelings. Um, the feeling I get with this, especially with the mice and the cross and all of that, it's not a new person. Um, I feel like with this, um, in terms of with this divine masculine, divine feminine energy here, that's represented here on this table is having that new start, a new beginning in love. It's like the ace of cups here. Okay. All right, y'all. All right. That is the daily reading. So happy Monday to you all. And, um, I'm wishing you a beautiful start of the week and please take care. And I'll be posting the, um, self-love corner too. Okay. Please take care. Bye.